sage to remove all negative energies from you guys's energy field and from anybody that's negative watching my video i'm sending this out to you okay hoping to cleanse your negative energy all right <laughs> not to start my video off like that but i'm just saying there's people out here who need positive energy sent their way please make sure you like share and subscribe to my video be sure to leave your comments and make sure you watch this video the full way through so you don't miss any of your messages okay Whenever you're hearing this video, it was meant for you to hear. My videos are timeless. Okay, so it don't matter when you hear it, whenever it pops up on your TV screen or your phone and you're recommended or up next, it's meant for you, okay? Spirit is wanting you to hear this message. Love and light to you, viewer, and thank you for taking the time to click my video and listen to what I got to say, okay? You're going to get some gems in here. So, let's see. What are we going to start off with? Which deck are we starting off with, Spirit? What is the energy? I'm going to pull from my spell casting deck just to turn the volume up right away. Okay. I got so many damn decks now. <laughs> All right. So Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel, please give me cards. And please don't mind my animal in the back eating her food. It's lunchtime for her. Okay. But love and light to everybody, though. Love and light to all my beautiful women, all my sexy, handsome men tuning into the video. Sending love everybody's way, sending abundance everybody's way, okay? Look, sending love and new beginnings as I said that. <laughs> so let's kick it, y'all. Let's talk, let's talk, let's talk. I hope everybody's doing great, okay? I hope everybody is growing and glowing, okay? And sticking to their shoes, okay? So we got commitment. What else is the energy of this read? What else is going on? Okay, and a home and a family. Psychic abilities, transformation, home. Okay. So off top, the energy is clear as day. Okay. Of course, there's somebody out here that is either wanting to commit to you and start a family and come home or somebody is wanting to commit to you and finally be a family and give you this home life setting okay somebody is also a psychic that's watching this video um somebody's third eye is wide the fuck open okay so right now is the time where you listen to yourself the most because you're open to the spirit world viewer okay so whoever this is only you know if you're empathic okay now there's people out here who get you know voices that come in their mind that voice is your connection to the spirit world, okay? You're channeling and not even realizing it, okay? And the reason this is happening is because it's time for your transformation, viewer. So we're gonna put this commitment shit to the side. This is something that needs to be said. Somebody is really needing to really, if you ain't starting your transformation, you need to start it now after hearing this video, okay? Because God gave you a gift that's gonna help you get abundant, that's gonna help you get rich, that's gonna help you help people, okay? And also you can save somebody's life with this gift I'm hearing for somebody. So stop not trusting yourself, stop letting people make you feel like your gift is the devil's work I'm hearing, stop making people feel like you, let, stop making people let you feel like you're crazy, cause you're not, okay? You're gifted and you're highly favored and you're transforming and you couldn't have did this if you wouldn't have never left a fucked up commitment, okay? or a fucked up job, or a fucked up family setting. Some of you guys were being controlled by a mother figure, a father figure, okay? Somebody was running you around like you were there, you know, running back girl, hand-me-down girl, okay? So also with this commitment card, I'm just seeing that somebody is realizing that they've been dating a psychic all this time. And, you know, somebody is making them, I feel like your person, when you revealed to them that you had an ability, they thought you were tripping, and I'm not even going to say much so tripping. They just thought that you were just talking. 
okay? Somebody didn't take you serious when you were trying to tell them you be knowing what the fuck is going on. But now that this person and you are not together anymore, somebody is making them feel stupid as fuck for passing up a gifted woman like you, okay? I hear somebody telling your person, you're dumb as fuck. You had a whole psychic as a woman. She could have been telling you who the snakes was in your grass type shit, okay? Somebody sitting up kicking the shit with a homie about this commitment with you about... And I feel like this same homie is the same homie that had a lot to do with this separation, okay? Also, I feel like this same homie saw what your person is seeing now they've been saw that in you and the whole time they wanted a family with you too okay so there's a secret best friend that was in love with you as well but we already knew that and you might not even know this okay so this might be new to you if you if your person got that one friend who they can't make a decision without this is probably for you okay because i feel like this is a friend that they run to for guidance and comfort wisdom they don't move unless this person tell them it's okay Okay, so let's let's time more up on this energy, okay? So what else is going on with this um, energy of this person? What else is going on in their life, spirit? Give me a card for the energy of what's going on in their life at this moment. Hey, Isis, have a seat. We got storm warning, okay? So your person is having several tower moments at this morning. I mean, ugh, I said at this morning, okay, somebody could have had a tower moment, moment with uh, a family member, a spouse, a job. Or, you know, just something that happened in their life that's got them fucked the fuck up, okay? Somebody is definitely needing to woo-saw before they fuck somebody up. I feel like your masculine just took a big loss. Like a big, big loss. It, it, even if it's a job, money. You know, I feel like somebody's masculine had a problem with leaving their money in their car. Thinking that nobody would touch their car. And I feel like somebody ran up in their shit and took their fucking money. Now they feeling stupid. Now they don't know how they're going to have to pay the bills at this household that they stand at. Also, somebody that they were committed to has kind of basically set them up to be robbed. I feel like this masculine don't even realize that he's sleeping with the enemy, literally, right next to the enemy. You know, money is coming up missing. Shit just ain't going right. And it's all because of a person that they're around. It don't even have to be a spouse. It could be a friend. It could be a sibling. It could be a family member. Somebody's energy is so negative towards and this could be for you too Vera. you could be around somebody that's really negative and they're blocking your blessings because you keep feeling like you have to bring them along everywhere you go in life okay look as soon as i said that we got the envy card okay so this is for you and your masculine and this is also why you guys um you know for some of you guys this is your twin flame and you guys are going through some of the same shit just different scenarios because you guys have the same karma that you need to clear only the difference is you've cleared yours and you're willing to clear yours okay this person has been running from clearing energies from the past they want to be stuck in their ways but now that shit is not playing out the way they seeing that the way that they do shit is not working for them so they're gonna they're wanting to transform and try a new direction because they keep getting fucking tower moments, especially when it comes to commitments. I feel like also there's a household that's going through it, leaving lights on, light bills skyrocket high, water bills skyrocket high. It's just a lot of shit. I feel like there's some kids out there that's fending for themselves while two people are into their selves. So there could be a couple out there who is not paying attention to the children, okay? And I've been saying this in videos for a long time. Y'all need to stop letting y'all relationships affect how y'all love y'all children because when that nigga or that woman walk out your life, your kids are still going to be there. Your kids is going to have y'all back, okay? Somebody could be, could have a 10-year-old or somebody's birthday could be on the 10th month or 10th day. Somebody could be 19 or have the 19th birthday. Somebody could have a birthday on the 20th day or can be 20, okay? But yeah, you guys both have somebody around you that is very envious of you, very um, hateful, okay? Somebody, for, for the viewer... And also, I feel like your person could be a psychic as well, but they don't reveal that shit a lot. You know, they, they, they're they pretty quiet. They let people do the talking and they watch people while they're doing the talking. And that while they're doing the talking, they're thinking about how they can get one up on the next person. This is that manipulative mindset that your person has, this shysty mindset. You know, they sit back, they rest and rejuvenate while everybody makes their mistakes. And then they come in for the kill but lately that ain't been working out for them okay lately every time they try to sit back and let motherfuckers do their shit and then they come do their shit they ain't been having nothing but tower moments because they're in karma and they're starting to see that 
okay and like i said somebody's masculine is psychic as well they're seeing shit they're seeing you know who's the fake who's the real somebody's masculine is purchasing crystals somebody's masculine is copying you and low-key hating on you from the far okay somebody's masculine want to be with you but they hate you at the same time they hate that you're you had a better life than them so for some of you guys your person could have been touched as a kid and you could have had a good family setting as a kid your family was there for you okay your family nurtured your psychic abilities and you saw a commitment in the household not for everybody but some you grew up with your mother and father in the same home okay so you became this strong psychic person you come from a spiritual family then you met this person and you tried to help them transform and all they did was dim your light in the process okay but you you finally stopped letting them do that it's like a light bulb, light bulb went off in your mind like okay what are you doing this is not i mean yeah you're a healer you're supposed to fix people but like i say that's why i'm not the, the, the reader for anybody that feels like you should put up with your twin flame regardless of what they do because i'm gonna tell you not to i'm gonna tell you to move forward and better yourself and ascend and heal your chakras and heal your heart so you can make it into the next level okay because if you want to sit back and let somebody hold you back while you had because all you're doing all people viewer all you're doing when you consider i mean consistently stick to a person that is breaking you depriving you of your talents of your freedom of speech making you feel worthless making you feel like you just have no control over yourself that i don't that's not in the law of attraction okay that's not in the law of balance that's not how nature was supposed to take its course okay nobody was sent here to be anybody's slave that's why he gave us free will in the first place now he'll see what you're gonna do with it but you don't have to stick by nobody just because of time, just because you got a kid with them, just because you want to make your family proud, okay? Some of you guys were dealing with a person for so long and you endured so much bullshit from this person because of what your family wanted for you, okay? What your family thought was best for you, what your family thought uh, you needed to do. Somebody had an arranged marriage with a major narcissist. Somebody had knew their husband since before they even knew they was going to get married, okay? So that's for somebody, so we got thinking woman and we got caring connection and we got anxiety in reverse and we got deceit in reverse. But I really am feeling towards putting this deceit card upwards because that's what I'm feeling. So, you know, off top, these cards are just telling me that, you know, feminine or masculine, whoever's watching, whoever's watching this video concerning somebody that's done something to them. Um. It took you a lot of thinking to release this connection, okay? It took you a lot. I feel like you were in a lot of anxiety, energy, okay? But you're not in that anymore. That's why it's in reverse. This is a relationship that always had you fucked up, for real. Like, this is somebody who stud you up on dates. I feel like somebody's person bust the windows out of your car viewer. You could be a female. You could have had a major narcissist man that you were dealing with that was literally ruining everything that you accomplish i feel like you got a new car at a time and this person was hating because you just always know how to make something out of nothing like you could be i feel like if you were in a relationship with this person when y'all were struggling you were the one that was coming up with the ideas on how to survive and how to get yourself out this hole okay and this person grew jealous of you over time because in their eyes they're the man they're supposed to be making shit happen not you okay not you you're not supposed to lead the way so because this person grew jealous of you and your talents and your abilities and your drive to make it happen they became deceitful towards you because they don't have that within themselves and like i said earlier in the video your person you know didn't grow up with the same family mentality you did they grew up with a shysty ass grimy ass everywhere as family okay and this is not for everybody everybody's masculine grew up in a different situation but it was toxic for them as a child it's got them the way that they are okay so they had to feel a lot of back and forth energy a lot of stagnant energy as a child a lot somebody that was a mother or father figure held them back made them feel guilty for wanting to uh, do other things i'm hearing a sin okay so somebody was the black sheep of their family this could be you or your masculine but mainly i feel like for the masculines the reason they shut off their spirituality is because when they brought it to their family their family looked at them like they were crazy and it was giving them black sheep vibes okay so they just like nah i'm gonna just lay low on this but then they met you 
and it you came and confirmed for them that they weren't tripping okay you were patient with your person very patient with them some of you guys turned off what made you comfortable to make your person comfortable. Some of you guys was putting their feelings and what was best for them before what was best for you. Somebody had you, because this thinking card represents a smart woman who's in her books, who knows her shit, okay? She's got her argument ready if she got to take the stand. You are somebody who you watch, you observe, you pay attention, you think before you act. This is for a select a few viewers watching this okay because i feel like a lot of my people that are watching my channel don't haven't reached that point yet you ain't reached a point where you know you're able to observe so basically who i'm describing is somebody who's been through shit and they know that you have to pay attention to the red flags okay and yeah for some you weren't always this way you had to get this way but I feel like for the woman particular that I'm talking to or man, you're somebody who you 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 pay attention as well. That's what you and your person have in common. Y'all both watch people. And that's another thing that was making you guys clash. You guys were too similar. You were the female version of him. He was the female version of you. I mean, you were the female version of him. He was the male version of you. But you ha were more closer to God and they were more closer to the devil. Okay? And that's because of the activities they have invested their time into like for example when you know i'm not talking about anybody that hustles or because hustle by any means get, get your bread but when you surround yourself around people who are robbing people and people who are you know deceiving people scamming running off with people money and shit that energy clings to you. And I feel like your person was doing this. He was getting his dirty money because that's the only way he could survive. For some of you guys, is your person been in and out of jail. They are felonies, so they can't get a good job. And some, they can, but they don't fucking want to. They'd rather live the fast lifestyle or the scamming lifestyle, okay? Some of you guys' as people were scamming businesses. like, And what I mean by scamming businesses, like they were acting like they were a business person and you know scamming people like however that resonates i'm not i don't know the details but somebody's person i'm hearing business scamming so somebody you know is a scammer somebody's person is a scammer other than that though you know you were pretty patient as well viewer about this connection with your person for a long time even though they kept you in anxiety even though you some of you guys knew your person was jealous of you okay and that's something that we don't talk about we need to normalize talking about men being jealous of a woman because that'd be a lot of the problem it don't necessarily all the time be that a person is low-key gay or they just a fucked up person it just be they're jealous of the woman they with which is sick that means that you have a mental problem how you jealous of me and i'm your fucking woman okay also, somebody is coming up with a strategy to become the woman holding the coin. And also, I feel like there's a masculine out here that's coming up with a strategy on how to get back with you because you're in your bag and they're money hungry. Okay, but I've been saying that as well. Somebody wants your money. Somebody wants to be a part of your set. Somebody sees you going live stream. Somebody sees you on the TV. Okay, somebody also I'm hearing somebody has hacked into somebody's email and they're able to see who all is giving money to you. So they're calculating the money you're making. So if you are married to this person or in a long commitment with this person to where they know your information still, or they're able to pretty much guess the type of passwords you would put in, know that this person is going through your shit, okay? So somebody that's watching this video is needing to go change up all their shit because your person is taking it this far to steal. I mean, yeah, I'm hearing steal. So somebody's probably wanting to steal from you financially for the woman, that's the, the viewers that's out here getting to the money, okay? Also, somebody could have a black cat and somebody could just be really petite and beautiful, all right, and then we got adjacent possibilities. This, this, your person that you were in this connection with that was once a caring connection, but then it turned into a deceitful connection. They're seeing all the doors that are opening for you and they want to walk through them doors with you. They'll be damned if they see you walking the red carpet or walking down a stage with somebody else and they feel, they feel like they, right now they're feeling like ringing an alarm. I've been doing this too long and I'll be damned if I see another nigga on your arm or bitch on your arm, however it resonates. Okay, somebody's 24, somebody's 21, somebody's birthday is on the 24th day or the 21, 21st day, okay? Somebody is 42, somebody's 20, somebody's 44. Yeah, and also they feel like they want to come back to you because you still have their heart. They still ain't able to get over you. And of course, you know, they broke. They having financial constraints. Meanwhile, you in your bag. When it used to be the other way around, I feel like you used to depend on this person for money or to help you with bills where you were short, you know. 
Somebody had an in and out as hustling as boyfriend. Somebody had an in and out businessman as a boyfriend as well. Okay. Somebody, you know, didn't want to show you off because they were too uppity and they felt like they're, you, you know, you were lower class and they wanted to hide you. But the love that they had for you was so unconditional. They couldn't understand why, but you just didn't fit into their lifestyle. For some of you guys, that's why the relationship didn't work. They were embarrassed. You know, somebody could have been from the hood. Somebody could have been from the suburbs. Somebody could have been white. Somebody could have been black in the situation. Either way it goes, though, there was something holding you guys back. And it was a deceitful thing, okay? And also, your person is just deceitful. Somebody could be dealing with a 25-year-old deceitful-ass boyfriend or girlfriend, okay? Also, somebody's broke because, you know, they keep themselves in third-party situations. They got muscle. This is what this person need to understand. If you fucking with all these women, you do know you're going to be paying bills for all these women. Because these days, women ain't taking no shorts. Everybody's in that mentality of ain't no handouts, okay? So these women that your person been dealing with, they want cash, money. They want to be cashed out. They want to be taken care of, especially if they're going to be on the side and they're going to be secret, be a secret, okay? Because like I said, some of you guys' people are married and they just went on to the next person that'll deal with being on the side until you got your senses together. But they see now that's not going to happen. You ain't going to ever get your senses together because a motherfucker ain't going to treat you like that. A motherfucker ain't going to lower you to, to, you ain't gonna come second to somebody, especially somebody who's got a bird brain. Because nine times out of ten, I'm not, just, I'm not trying to say that everybody your person is with is a karmic just because you're the viewer. But nine times out of ten, if the energy pulled you to my video, this was some. You're going through that situation where your person is dealing with somebody that is a karmic person or not good for them or not good for their family, and doesn't mean them well. Okay. So give me some cards. I'm pulling from my messy deck just to see what else, you know, just to get more into what else is going on with your person. What else is going on, spirit? We got buy broke ass. <laughs> so, yes, y'all person is broke. They are definitely and and you know, if you guys don't feel like they is broke that it seems to appear to look like things is okay that that's what they are appearing to look like okay i feel like this person is got just enough money to pay all their bills for the money and that's it they don't have no extra spending money okay they don't got no diaper money you wondering why you ain't getting calls to get diapers and your person ain't buying shit for your kids it's because they don't have it okay because these bitches took all their money okay they broke and I feel like they spouse or they girlfriend or whatever this person is to them that's not you has been putting taking their money and putting it up for them for a time like this. Know that your person's karmic is straight, okay? She got money put up. She been hiding money. She been giving money to her family to hold for her. I feel like your masculine really trusted the wrong person with their life, with everything about them. With, and, and it's like, how? Oh, because a person will go do a hit for you or a person to sell some pussy for you or a person that will help you rob somebody. You feel like this person is the person you should trust over a psychic, spiritual, divine, soft-spoken, loving light worker. Because that's all you are, viewer, is a light worker. Okay? Some of you guys don't realize your job, but after watching my videos for a while, y'all gonna start waking up to what you're really supposed to do if you're new to my channel, okay? Because the people that's been watching are already ascending and growing. And I can tell because my cards are not showing me that you guys are, this card even came out in reverse. In the past, this would have came up for you feminines, okay? You guys are not in this energy no more. You're not fucked up or having anxiety about your child not having a father present. You're not fucked up or uh, having anxiety about, you know, not having a lover in your life. You realize that you're better off alone because the only thing that's loving you back right now is the money and that's facts sister so period okay somebody is really feeling like your person needs to grow the fuck up or your person could be feeling like you need to grow the fuck up because you're not letting them see their child or you're not answering their calls or you're not making your life accessible anymore they feeling like you're childish for picking you and moving on bitch fuck you you're the one that's childish that's how i feel about it okay don't sell your soul for money so there's somebody um that's watching this video who is trying to be famous who is looking into being famous looking into being a singer rapper songwriter or just being in the mainstream media okay spirit is telling me to give you this warning okay do not sell your soul for money it's not that important in the 3d okay money does not matter in the fifth dimension so if you want to sell out so that you can be rich in this lifetime you're gonna fucking regret it for millenniums and lifetimes and lifetimes and lifetimes okay so don't make a foolish decision off of a temporary life 
that I'm not saying this lifetime ain't gonna matter, but this lifetime was to wake you up to what we're about to go through. And it's gonna be love, okay? We finna be in paradise, in heaven. This is the, the what we're getting ready to go into is what the Jehovah Witnesses would say is paradise, or, you know, the Christians would say is heaven, okay? For spiritual... For spiritual people, the fifth dimension is like a heaven state world, a world where there's no killing, no negativity, no deceitful energy, no, no, you know, no polygamous type relationships to where, you know, the parties are uncomfortable in the situation, but they're only doing it to keep the person because I feel like somebody on this video was in a polygamous relationship and they only did it to satisfy their person. I feel like your person brought this to you and gave you the ultimatum that if you don't adjust to me fucking with her, I'm going to do it regardless. So some of you guys loved your person so much, you were willing and allowing them to deal with other women. Okay, somebody was a sister wife, somebody was a baby mama, and somebody was a girlfriend. So somebody's baby mama or somebody's girlfriend decided to invite the baby mama into the equation because you guys both got to see whoever you are, if you're the baby mama or you're the girlfriend, for whoever was in a polygamy relationship. You really didn't want to do that, okay? And you see this woman, she's kind of looking like, eh, I don't like these bitches, okay? And then she's looking like, yeah, I'm the boss bitch. I got his heart. And then she's looking like, I'm just, you know, I'm the cool one. I ain't hating on nobody, okay? This is the energy. Somebody, and I'm hearing somebody could have seven different bitches they was fucking with, okay? But either way it goes, somebody was forced into a polygamous relationship because they were scared they were going to lose this caring connection or lose the father to their child if they didn't submit to what the masculine thought was, com what was comfortable for the masculine, okay? So that's a message for some. Somebody. somebody really was unhappy in a third party situation that they had to act like they were happy in okay you got that wet wet okay so viewer this is for you that coochie wet basically <laughs> it's basically what is being said somebody on here got that wet wet that's why this person can't leave you alone that ain't just why but that's a super plus okay another reason they can't leave you alone is because you're looking fucking good right now okay and they're imagining how what that coochie gets with the some of you guys got a new body worked on your body is working on your body okay somebody is fixing themselves up somebody just looks like they making money out here somebody is really in their fucking bag okay you think you slick so this is you know your person's energy and this is your energy you're saying this to your person like oh you think you slick calling my grandma or my mom or my dad or you know i feel like this person is trying to find any reason to have a reason to co contact you but you've set it up to where if you got kids with this person you've set it up to where your person don't need to reach out to you for shit and it's all set up for them to see their child but even then though they still not satisfied because in the past it was i just want to co-parent i don't want to be with you i don't want to fuck with you i mean i'm with her or i'm you you're too much you're crazy you're this you're that they didn't want no parts okay but now the tables have flipped now you're giving them what they asked for. Now you're just co-parenting with them. Now you're making it just about the child and they're pissed, okay? So they're trying to find reasons to have a reason. I feel like somebody's got an arrangement to where a parent or a grandparent is in the middle of visitation, okay? Somebody is bringing the child to your baby father or baby mother. Like you guys are not able to see each other basically, okay? Because you were fed up with the cheating ass shit with all these different bitches. It was so many bitches, okay? Every time you turned around, every time you cracked your eyes open, it was a new, a new bitch. Somebody needed multiple women to fill holes, okay? You thief, you stole my heart. So this is your masculine telling this to you, viewer, or your feminine. You know, they feel like you stole their heart and walked away. They feeling like, why the fuck did you give up on me? They expected you to be die hard like the other woman was, okay? It's a hung jury, no jail time, okay? So somebody's getting ready to go to court about a situation. This could be for you, viewer, or this could be your person. But somebody's facing a court, a trial or something that involves going to court. But this card is letting me know this is your confirmation. If you're nervous about a trial or jail time or whatever, this is spirit letting you know that you will not serve any time, okay? A lot of people that are being falsely accused for crimes that they were not committing or don't deserve to go to jail for, Spirit is no longer allowing that shit, okay? He didn't send nobody to, uh, down here to be treated like no animal in cage for their whole life. For, so if Spirit feel like you got a job here to do and he give you that second chance, you better take heed to that, okay? If he save your life and keep you from jail time, you better do what you're supposed to do. Because God don't make no mistakes and if he feel you're not supposed to go to jail and even if you was guilty as can be and you beat and you beat this case 
You better do what the hell you're supposed to do. That's a clear second chance. So that's for my viewer or my masculine, whoever this is for, okay? If you can't take the heat, get out the kitchen, all right? So somebody is facing a, a jail a jail time or going through a case that, you know, somebody was scary in the situation. I feel like also this is a karmic woman or somebody that they were dealing with because it's right under this car and it's just, that's what I was feeling anyway. I feel like a woman that your person did a lot of crimes around or just did a lot of fucked up shit around and he's having to answer to that now. I feel like this karmic woman, she can't take the heat. She's nervous as hell and she's thinking about deceiving your person and telling on them so she don't have to get any jail time. Okay, and this is the person they trusted with everything, trusted with their life, with their business, to control their money, to control how they deal with their kids, to control who family they, who, what family member they talk to. I mean, for some of you guys, as people, they were controlling. I feel like it was going both ways. I feel like your person wasn't fucking with their family because I feel like for some of you guys, your person's family didn't fuck with this karmic woman. They didn't like her. Okay, and for some of you guys, they did like her. But either way it goes, your person, you know, is controlling who she fuck with in the family and she's able to control who he fucks with in his family. So they both toxic. Like, what type of love is that to where you guys is telling each other y'all can't be around y'all family? A nigga tell me I can't be around my family, bitch, you can beat it, okay? You ain't gonna come in my life and tell me who I can't be the fuck around, who done raised me, who shot me out they pussy. It'll never happen and you'll never see it. Okay, and some of you women that be allowing shit like that, I'm not talking down on nobody. I'm not trying to check anybody. But in my intro, it says, are you ready to accept the truth? Because I'm going to keep it 100 with you. Because I am. If you sitting up here allowing a man to tell you who you can't fuck with, if you got friends that you've been friends with since day fucking one and you didn't let this nigga come around and stop you from talking to your everyday bitches that didn't fault with you, that didn't, didn't watch you push a baby out, that didn't led you into money just helped you but overall been a good ass friend if you're gonna let this war out community ass jailbird ass dick tell you what to fucking do and who you can fuck with you deserve what you're getting okay and i hate to say that but it's just you know love ain't that i know when you be in love it be just oh it'd be so good it'd be so good you just want to be up under your person all day. You just want to melt inside of them, okay? I felt that from feeling before. But one thing you just don't do, you don't fall in love so hard that you forget about the outside world. Because when the fog clears from that love and you got to really deal with the reality of things, the people that you love and been here from you since day one either won't want shit to do with you or, you know, you won't have them. Okay? And we got Jezebel stuck up his bitch. So for sure, as your person's dealing with another woman that's got a bad energy. Okay, not only is she a bitch, but she's giving off Jezebel vibes, suck up his vibes. Okay, she leeches to your person. For some of you guys, your person is starting to look older than their age. They look like day by day, they just getting a, the life suctioned out of them. It's true because they have a energy that's on them somebody's in love with and suck of this person okay this is you and this is your person because your person was at a point in love with this karmic woman but the only reason he was in love with her was because she was able to fill her his pockets he really was in love with the money she brought to the table but now that same money's not coming in anymore because like i said your person the person that your person is dealing with their whole goal was to completely isolate they your person from everybody that they love or everybody that wants to do them good because that was their job okay when a person comes into this world with suck a bitch jezebel energy they're coming here to do the devil's work in my eyes they're coming here to distract people and knock people off their path while somebody telling me somebody can comment on my video talking about i'm leading twins off their path but why are you not talking about how these karmics is leading these masculines off their path and the paths and the masculines is allowing it and they're allowing it not because black magic, because like I said, I'm not going to keep on blaming black magic for why these men is choosing to stay, because not everybody knows about magic, but a lot of people do, okay? And magic ain't always the reason why these men are staying. They're staying because they have a fear of being broke, okay? They're, they need a beard, so they need a woman that won't, is dumb enough to not realize that they really are into men, okay? That's for some people, and they just need somebody that is going they can control, Okay? And that's what succubuses and Jezebels do. They, su they supply the drug for the victim.
okay? They sit back, they watch, they come off as this innocent, cool person, and they sit back and observes everybody's weakness like the masculine, and then they go in for the kill, okay? There's also somebody that's watching this video that's wanting to start a new life, take a new move, take a leap of faith, you know, start a business. Just somebody's wanting to quit their job. They're tired of working for people or their job is being racist or discriminating or won't give them a raise. Won't um, you've been working for them for years and they just will not you know, recognize you, but they letting all these new motherfuckers come in and take shit you've been working for for years. Stop doubting yourself. If you want to quit this job, make sure you got enough money to pay your rent for a few months so you can search for another income or either wait till you get another income, but stop staying in a place that's holding you back. That's also holding you back from ascension. When you dedicate your life to a corporate that wouldn't give a damn about you if you passed away, they'll drop you like a hop cake if you do the wrong thing or if somebody better that can do your job better comes, okay? Don't sacrifice your life and, you know, put your gifts on hold like being a psychic. Somebody's a tarot reader, but they scared to get out there and do it. They don't think they will get views. They don't think they channel a bus. Spirit is telling me to get out there, okay? And I'm telling you to get out there because, like I said, we need more psychic people out here to help assist with the awakening of the planet, okay? To assist with the intro of the age of Aquarius. We need more, okay? And like I said, not everybody is can relate to the, every tarot. Like not everybody can get jiggy with me, okay? I might be too harsh or I might just be too truthful for certain people. They might need somebody that can explain the same thing I'm explaining, but in a softer way, okay? So if you are thinking about doing tarot, please do it, okay? Because I ain't the reader that's gonna hate on a new reader that's coming out. I'ma applaud you and I'ma boss, I'ma help do what I can to boss you up. I wanna see this world teaming together. I want all that jealous energy out of the atmosphere. It's no point to be jealous. It's billions of people on this planet who can get a reading. It's billions of people who watch shit all fucking day, okay? So it's enough for everybody. So get y'all butt out here, okay? Also, it says, open your eyes, DF, to see the DM for who he really is. So this is for you uh, viewers who just, you know, you know your person is killing you mentally, okay? But you still keep making excuses, still keep wanting them. Spirit is saying, you better open your eyes and see what the fuck you got in front of you before you really, really lose it, okay? Before you really, really miss out. Don't let this person hold you back and keep you in one place. Don't let this person keep you in the third dimension, okay? There's way, it's like, basically a heartbreak is like the rain. It's going to storm real bad. It's going to thunderstorm. It might tornado. Some trees might get pulled down. It's going to be real hot, steamy, muggy. But then eventually that will all calm. And the sun is going to come out again, okay? You guys got to give yourself time for the fog to clear. For the humidity to go away. For somebody to come pick up the trees. And then you'll be able to see clear as day. But some of you guys are impatient. You think you're supposed to heal overnight and it don't happen like that. You have to find things to keep yourself busy. Find things that you really love so that you won't focus on a person that you really love. When you don't have no drive or you don't have nobody that you really care about or really love. or I mean, not nobody or anything. It's gonna you. Of course, you're going to sit up and think about this person all day. Find something that makes you happy. And yeah, I know for some of you guys, you're listening like, yeah, she's, it's easier said than none and it ain't just that simple. Well, it is. it ain't that simple, but I did it. So if you, I could do it, you could do it, okay? And then I'm seeing this card right here. It says you are talented and fucking amazing. So I know you guys got talent, okay? You guys are just not focusing. It's, it's not appealing right now because the person you really want don't want you, okay? Spirit is wanting you to do you. Okay, this person is doing them. They're missing you from afar, but they doing them. They ain't, they, they want to come to you and communicate, but some of them haven't. That should show you as well that this person ain't really, because a man that really want his woman back, a man that really want this shit to work and don't want to let you slip into the hands, because you guys are rising to success based off these cards, okay? But this is only going to happen once you're ready for it to happen. So if you're still thinking that it's a chance between you and your DM, DM like it's okay to think you guys going to get back together, but move on with your life until that happens. Don't sit around waiting on him to leave this person or waiting on him to miss you or text you. Your life will fly past you because for some of these masculines, they not going to come back until their ass is burnt out and they, they dick can't even get hard no more because they've been doing, getting it sucked and fucked so much. Then that's when they're going to come back to you when they ain't shit but a bag of trash that's ready to be took to the trash can, okay? That's when you're going to get them for some of you guys. 
all right? Chicken or a coward. Like I said, somebody's too chickered or coward to come to you and really take the constructive criticism that they deserve. They don't want to hear all the wrong they've done, okay? Some of you guys are about to get a new job. We got you hired, okay? And then we got somebody that's still unemployed. Okay, so somebody's about to get a new job and somebody's going to remain unemployed. This could be your person, but this could be a viewer as well. Somebody's going to remain unemployed and make their co they coins from home. Okay, somebody's going to pick their business up off the ground and get it out the mud, like they say. Okay, somebody is still replaying bad memories across their mind. This could be your person and you. I feel like it's mainly you. I feel like with all the success, you keep being worried about it disappearing and not being there tomorrow somebody's like okay this is just for the moment you know this is what if this don't last and i quit my job spirit is telling you those are the past they're memories for a reason okay they just are something for you to remember not something for you to hold on to and be and let it keep you blocked in fear <clears throat> Also, somebody's doubting themselves about making money or a relationship because of bad memories as well. There's some abuse going on in front of children. So there's a viewer out here that is being abused in front of their children by an unemployed bum ass man. Okay. Somebody got court coming up. Like I said, there's definitely a collective of people who know somebody that's going through a court case or you could be the person that's going through the court case. Okay. Somebody's re re uh receiving a lot of no caller ID, private or unknown calls. I feel like this is your person or your person's person, okay? Somebody's person's person has went through their phone and got your number. They've always wanted your number so they could be able to send you shit and fuck with you. Now they got it. So be aware that if you're receiving no caller ID or private calls, this is your, your person or your person's person. Okay, and I'm hearing it might be their best friend. There are too many toxins in your body, viewers, so somebody's definitely needing to detox ASAP, okay? Quit eating so much fast food and not drinking enough water. Somebody's pee is yellow as fuck, which is let, telling me to tell you that if some, not, not nothing is wrong with your kidney, but something could go wrong with your kidney having your pee that yellow. You need to drink more water. Okay, and then it says, I'm making amends with myself. So while making money, while being a woman holding a coin, you're also making amends with yourself for what you allowed and promising yourself that you will never go through these bad memories again. You'll never be broke again. You'll never be laying on the bed while your kids is in the living room running wild, doing what the fuck they want to do because you so broke down, you can't even get the fuck up. You'll never be hanging off a bed crying again over somebody, okay? Somebody's hiding their truth, though, still. Somebody still wants to be a family, okay? And it's acting as if they don't. It's okay if you want to get back with your person, you could, but I mean, make sure you weigh the pros and the cons. And then we got cry and get it over, cry and get over him, okay? So there's a viewer that's needing to definitely cry and get over your person. That's all you can do, or you can waste your life, your youth, your time, miss out on a person that really will treat you right. Because you're sitting up wondering about them. Somebody's needing to stop watching tarot videos trying to figure this person out, okay? You can see, watch a thousand videos and this person's still going to do what the fuck they want to do. This person's still going to listen to their messy ass mother figure. They still going to be in the fucking clinic, okay? Somebody is having bad memories about a clinic visit, about the fact that there's no trust in a relationship, and somebody's just specifically having a clinic visit to get on birth control or get some type of medicine for something. I feel like somebody is ready to get back sexually active. Somebody's dating somebody new, and somebody wants to see what that dick do. So they're, going, they're making an appointment to get on birth control. Somebody's been watching my videos or just tarot videos, period, and they're realizing their pregnancy is in the air, so they're going to get that birth control. Okay, what else is going on for my viewers? What, once again, somebody is being abused, okay? And somebody's definitely being abused in front of kids. And that's fucked up, okay? So for, you, for my viewers, if this is you, escape, okay? Leave this connection. You don't want church. You're creating... Your children seeing you being abused is creating the same person you're trying to get over, okay? A narcissist, a person with childhood wounds. That is not a good feeling for a child to see the person they love the most in the world being beat up on, okay? So if you're a viewer and you're being abused in front of your kids, please seek help as far as getting out of this situation. Stop allowing this to happen. Ain't no love in the world strong enough for me to let a nigga have me walking around looking like this. I don't give a fuck, okay? And especially not of my kids. That'll make me really turn up, okay? So 
Somebody's needing to get out this situation. Also, I'm picking up that there is a karmic woman who's being abused in front of her kids, okay? And being told to get on birth control because they don't want to have more kids with them. Somebody's trying to get information on abuse, okay? So there could be a messy-ass mother figure who's wondering if her son or her daughter-in-law is being abused, or she could be just spreading rumors that uh, her son or daughter is being abused, okay? Or I feel like this karmic is running to her mother, telling her mother she's being abused in front of the kids and shit, and her messy-ass mother is telling her to stay with this person because your person is known to have money, okay? And this is a mo mother that sees only dollar signs. So she gonna tell her child to stick to it. He won't kill you. Y'all got a family together. Just deal with it, okay? And this mother is also telling you to deal with it because she don't want you staying with her. She don't want to have to take care of you either. Somebody's mother feel like, you know, you gonna mess up their sex life, their life if they let you come stay, okay? Look, we got, I'm gonna whoop your ass. So there's definitely some fighting going on, okay? I feel like somebody, some a karmic had a fight with another karmic, and I feel like this divine masculine possibly beat on the main karmic because she attacked another potential karmic, which could have, I feel like this was, this karmic she attacked was supposed to be your replacement, okay? So she feel like, he feels like she messing up the church's money. <laughs> also, you could have had a fight with the karmic. Okay, and he could have went home and whooped her ass because he straight let her ass know, don't fucking put your hands on my baby mama ever. I don't give a fuck how bad I dog her ass out. You can't put your hands on her. So somebody got their ass beat for thinking they can run up on you. Okay, somebody also got their ass beat because they've been stealing this money that your person been out here trying to hustle and get. They hard-earned dirty money. The money that they scammed for and shit. Motherfuckers giving it to sad niggas. Okay, and they done turned up, which it ain't right, but this is what's going on. Then we got divine good pussy. So, yeah, your person is missing you. Somebody's losing weight. Somebody's been doing karmic sex magic to keep somebody paying their past due balances and bills. All right, and in the process, when they're selling pussy or whatever, they tune in the whole situation out. So, there's somebody that's selling sex. Okay. Somebody's selling sex. So give me the overall energy of this reading because this video is kind of long. My mouth is just run, rolling. I mean, running. Give me the overall energy for this reading spirit. What's what's the overall energy for the viewer's person? What are they going through today? Okay, or whenever the viewer sees this, what is going on? We got bad cramps. Okay, so somebody's masculine could be really, you know, having something going on with their intestines that's causing them to lose weight and causing them to have to, you know, do clinic visits and shit. You know, this could be why this person is fighting on people because they are sick from something and it's showing through cramps. Somebody's masculine has been walking around with something for a while and now it's starting to show. Okay. This masculine is starting to see that this karmic woman has been disloyal, has been a liar, a thief, a manipulator. You know, the same. Y'all was mirroring each other. Y'all was the same. That's why y'all got along so good. He just didn't think she'll pull a him on her. I mean, pull a him on him. Okay, give me another card for what's this, the overall in energy of this person, okay? So this person is battling control, complete control issues. He's losing complete control over his life as well, okay? He's losing, you know, complete control over his dirty money, over his bills. He don't run shit no more, really. And it's got him really fucking losing it, okay? So this is what your person is going through. I hope you guys like this reading. I hope it gave y'all some clarity. Only take what resonates with you. Don't try to match some shit that ain't yours. Um, don't leave any negative comments on my video because I will delete and block you from my page. And if it don't resonate with you, you don't need to comment that. And if it does resonate, but some things don't resonate, just only comment what resonates for you because I make it clear in my videos that everything is not for everybody. So, you know, you guys really don't have to tell me what didn't resonate. Just only tell, just only take what's yours, okay? Only discuss with me what is true. Love and light to everybody. And also I have a new um, booking number. So check that out in, in the description box. Love and light guys.